Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? Big Philly with Poor Boys RC. Thanks again for tuning in today. Uh, today's episode, we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to prep a Lexan body or polycarbonate body to get it ready for paint. Uh, so there is a, a protective film on this body, and I, I'm, I don't remember ever seeing a Lexan body that comes without it. That protective film is there to protect from overspray. When you paint one of these bodies, you want to paint the inside of the body, okay? And when you're painting the inside, there's going to be overspray flying around. You don't want to get paint on the outside. You strictly want paint on the inside. So as you paint it and a bit of overspray gets on the outside when you're finally done, you peel off this protective film as your final step and that reveals the beautiful paint job that you just applied. It's a really gratifying experience. If you've never done it before, when you peel it back, it looks awesome. So. So that's what the blue film is all about, and uh, your particular brand of body that you buy uh, may not have a blue film. It may be a different color, it may just be totally clear, but just be aware that you probably have a film on the outside of your body used to protect against overspray. So you're going to need a few tools to help you get the job done. Now, we've got a couple sets of scissors here, and these are by... Dynamite. These are Dynamite brand. And I've got two pair. They actually came as a pair. And you'll see right here that one pair has a curve to it and one pair is straight. Now, obviously, the curved pair is going to help me cut out wheel opening moldings, or not wheel opening moldings, but wheel openings, curved surfaces. And the straight blade is great for straight surfaces. There's another way you can cut out these bodies. I like to use a nice fresh razor blade and always a fresh razor blade. A, they're dirt cheap. B, they work so much better when they're fresh. Obviously, when you use a pair of scissors, you are cutting something out, almost like cutting a piece of paper. When we use a razor blade or a hobby knife, we're not looking to cut right through the Lexan. We are just looking to score it. And I'll show you what I mean later, but we're going to score the body and then crack it and it'll break and, and break apart very nice and clean. So those are two methods. Those are the two methods that I've used to cut bodies out. We will incorporate both, method, both methods in this tutorial. And before we get to work on this body, the last thing I'm going to mention is probably the most important part about it, and that is cleanliness. You're going to have to steal the dishwashing liquid and the sponge. And these are literally taken right out of my sink from my from downstairs. The sponge is still wet. My wife just did some dishes. And you are going to clean the living heck out of the inside of this body, okay? And we'll go out there and we'll do it in a minute, but this is hands down the most important step. And when guys have failures and girls, there's 0.8% of you now watching this. I got your back. Um, <laughs> when guys and girls are, are running these RC cars, and having paint failures, typically it's peeling paint and you have an impact and the body will crumple a little bit because it does have a lot of flex to it, but the paint doesn't have adhesion because of a, either a poor clean job or a lack of a clean job. So this is really such an imperative step. So we are going to clean the living heck out of the inside of this thing to make sure that our paint sticks. It, I can't, I can't say it enough. Cleanliness is the most important step. And cleanliness is godliness. God is empty, just like me. Billy Corgan, right? 1992? 93? Anyway, Smashing Pumpkins, check it out. Uh, so now that we've covered everything we need to know about how we're going to move forward with getting this body prepped up for paint, let's start getting into it. Let's get in the nitty gritty and start cutting out some panels. So again, we've got a curved pair of scissors, a straight pair of scissors, and a razor blade that we're going to use. Again, this is my style. This is, this is how I like to do things. First of all, you see this big kind of skirt that goes around the body. And the Lexan here is actually very thick. And personally, I like to cut that off first. So I'm just gonna grab my straight pair of scissors and I'm just going to cut off all this excess. And I'm not worried about being true to body lines. Make sure you don't cut over a body line. Don't make a mistake and cut over a body line and screw up your body, but I'm just looking to cut this excess off. 
And as you see, I got it to the corner. You can just rip it right off. And now we've got something that's much softer, much easier to work with. So now we can start really paying attention to the lines and make sure that you know where you want to cut. For example, hopefully you can see we've got this wheel opening arch here and that goes right into a bumper. And I really need to make sure that I cut along this bumper line right here. Not up here, not through, you know what I mean? So, and this is where these curved scissors really pay for themselves. Now I was having a hard time with that cut, making that sharp corner. So I'm just going to come over to this side and I think it's just easier for me to do it this way because I'm right handed. And there we go. And that's cut. And hopefully you can see that this little section right here isn't perfect. But again, guys, by the time you're done with all this, believe me, you're not going to be stressing out too much about how imperfect these small little things are. And some of you guys might be. I mean, everyone's different, right? Some guys might really want them to be absolutely perfect. Me, I don't stress about it too much. Get them looking decent. I really like to use scissors on curved edges. Some guys, again, they will use a hobby knife or a razor blade. Me, I'm going to use scissors on curved edges all day long. That's me. Not too bad, Phil. You're talking, you're recording, doing it all at once. And hey, that wasn't too bad. I'm pretty happy with that outcome. Now, okay, that was curved scissors. Let's go to straight scissors. And I've got this straight line I've got to cut right here. There's a little bit of a curve right here where the body, where this fender opening just kind of just curves and opens up. And, you know, I could even just grab the curved ones and just... Start that cut, just like that, and then take my straight scissors and continue on. And it kind of curves at the end here, so I'm going to make a nice curve with the straight scissor. And look at that, Uncle Bob, holy cannoli, looking good. Excellent! So we've been using the scissors this whole time, and now here we have this nice straight line right across here that needs to be cut next. So what I'm going to do is use the razor blade this time, try something a bit different. And sorry if my hand's in the way, I'm trying my best, but now I'm not trying to cut through the body. I'm just trying to score the Lexan. That's not working so well. I can do something like this. There we go. So pay attention closely because if you jump out of this little groove and put a giant slit through your bumper. That's no bueno. So that's it. As you can see, I haven't cut through it. I just scored it. And now I'm going to bend it this way. And look how that just breaks away so easily. And boom, look at that. So again, you don't want to cut right through, you just want to score it. That's actually a pretty straight line. Not bad, Phil, not bad at all. All right. So the body is all cut out. I just finished it up off camera because it was just kind of taking too long. I didn't want to uh, make the video longer than I had to. So I've cut the rest of the body out. This guy is ready to go. Now, if you wanted to, you could take a Dremel or some sandpaper and clean up your edges, some of these corners and stuff. I'm perfectly happy with how mine came out. They're not perfect, but that's okay. It's going to be a bit of a basher body anyway. So to me, that is all good. So next step is the most important step. And what is it? Raise your hand if you know the answer. It is cleaning the inside of the body. That is right. We have to get the old, the old Dawn Ultra Botanicals. Now you don't have to use this brand. I don't know what a botanical is, but uh, hey, just be careful because obviously sponges have a, a kind of a gritty side and a smoother side. If you're going to use the gritty side, which, which I will, um, just be careful you don't scratch the glass, okay? Um, pretend glass. <laughs> we have a pretend windshield 
and side glass and back glass. So if you scratch that, you're going to see it when with, you're, you'll see the scratches through the finished product. So it's very important to not scratch the inside of, of this just yet, okay? All right, guys and girls, welcome to my bathroom. I'm sorry to bring you in here, but this is what we're doing. We're in the shower here. We've got the body. We've got the dish soap right here, and we've got the sponge. Let's get some warm water going. And we're just going to clean the inside of the body just like that, just like doing dishes. And all these little tight nooks and crannies, make sure you get inside every one of these. Those areas are the toughest to get paint into in the first place. And if your paint's not going to stick in those areas, then you're really in trouble. And again, the abrasive side of the pad, make sure it does not touch the windows, but on areas like the box side, the front of the vehicle where you know it's gonna be taking some hits. If you scratch up the inside of this plastic a little bit, that's not a bad thing necessarily in this case. It's gonna put in such fine scratches that it'll offer some mechanical adhesion to the paint and really help it grab on. So that was about two and a half minutes of cleaning. And yes, I just gave it a really, really good wash as you saw, but um, what's the rule of, of painting these bodies again? Make sure the inside is super clean. So I'm gonna clean this all over again. Let's start right from the top. That body is squeaky clean and ready for paint. So I hope you guys enjoyed that trip to the bathroom with me. Hope it wasn't too weird, I apologize. But hey, that's how we have to get it done. So this is, I just got back out of there. You can see the water droplets all over the body still. And I've got a fresh clean towel and I'm just going to sort of dry this off as best I can. And I'm gonna tell you a little secret here. And if hopefully you're a patient person, I'm not a very patient person. I'm a very impetuous person, but um, I tend to, get these things all prepped up and paint them all the same day. And I'm not gonna do that this time. I haven't done that for the last couple of years. And I'll tell you why, because I get these things, I spend all this time uh, prepping and cleaning and everything else, picking colors, masking, doing all this work. And then I get one or two little paint or water droplets stuck in little corners like that. And then I spray my paint and then the paint goes all wacky and does weird things and it ruins the paint job. So. There are ways around that. You know, get a, get a hair dryer. I don't have a lot of hair, so I don't own a hair dryer. Don't know if you noticed, <laughs> but uh, the wife does. I could always use hers. Actually works great for applying decals. But um, anyway, you can take a hair dryer and you can try and dry the water out of some of these little crevasses that are in here. Personally, at this point, I give my method again. This is my method, not everyone else's. I will dry this off as best I can with a towel and I'm going to let it sit overnight. And uh, that will ensure that it has dried 100% and I can start painting the next day. So, so that's what we're going to do. This guy is squeaky clean and ready for paint. Now, I still need some ideas on how to paint this body. I've got a lot of great ideas coming from you guys and I love all the different angles. So please continue to chime in and let me know what you think. So this body is 100% prepped up and ready for paint. We will do a paint video on this body. And uh, there have been some people that have been chiming in talking about different colors, some gold, some hot rod black. I love it all guys. Keep the ideas flowing. Throw them down in the comments below because I want to hear some more ideas. But um, We'll do a paint tutorial. As for today, this is just how to prep for paint. So this body right now is 100% prepped up and ready to be painted. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support. Please take a minute to like, share, and subscribe if you don't mind. And as always, be excellent to each other. Bye for now. Bill, my friend. Yes, Ted, my friend. This has been a most excellent adventure.